we are playing we are playing starfield we're playing starfield tonight again i am a no man's sky player been doing it for seven years been loving everything about no man's sky and I, anything no man's sky does is like here's a new expedition like i'm in i mean let ledges uh ledge has been uh, uh an advocate i mean he knows He's been a witness to it. And it's like, if I see that man log in too, it's like, hey man, you want to do the expedition together? I'm like, nah, I can't do it right now. I'm like, oh, that's okay, that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do it myself too. Just, wee! I miss a lot of the expeditions. I missed the fucking, eight, like the freighter. I missed the the frigate. It was the eight, the living frigate. I missed that. But apparently you can still do it in the game. I just haven't found out how to do it in the game. Uh, but I am a No Man's Sky player. I am coming into Starfield with No Man's Sky eyes. So let's go ahead and just get that out of the way. I am coming in with that. I can't get rid of it. I won't get rid of it because that's just how my perspective is going to be. I am also, I'm not going to say I'm not the biggest Bethesda fan. I mean, fuck. I mean, I love, I, I love Fallout 76 because Fallout 76 really came into my game, game world of a MMORPG, which I mean, no live service, but whatever. Uh, love Fallout 76. Absolutely love the Fallout series because my friends play it and I really like watching it. I might not be a big fan of playing it, but I am no, <laughs> but I am I'm really hyped for Bethesda on this. I think everything I've seen from Starfield and especially that big presentation from the Xbox showcase, like that was like the sign seal delivered. It's mine. So let's go ahead and jump into Starfield. Let's check it out. So you can get Starfield right now on Xbox, uh, or on Xbox, Xbox, or you know, Game Pass PC, and also on Steam right now. You have to get either the Premium Edition for hundred dollars or the Collector's Edition, which I don't know if you're actually going to do the Collector's Edition or not. Um, I don't even know if that's being sold still. Oh, um, Stevie B did get the Collector's Edition, so I'm really expecting and hoping for a good, uh, what's the word, uh, a good opening un unboxing for that for him. Uh, when he gets a chance to and uh but yeah the, the game officially launches on uh september 6th at 8 p.m eastern check your local times uh they're all over ig and GameSpot and everything so they'll absolutely show you what time they're coming out in your time did you dip your toes into diablo 4 no 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 uh, i was close maki i was very close i I think Diablo 4 this time around would have absolutely gotten me, but I just could not pull the trigger. And, you know, I mean, life happens. I just couldn't do it. I saved that money and got Baldur's Gate 3 instead. But I think Diablo 4 looks great. Not a big fan of the whole season thing, just on paper. I haven't experienced it. I mean, you know, just re-leveling everything. Um, my God, building shaders as well. Okay, well, we still got loading to do. Um, but I am, uh, I do like watching because you know, I watch Tally the Tank all the time on Twitch. And he plays, he was playing Diablo of the launch. And he was like, yes, yeah, definitely looks fun. And I also am going to blame Diablo Immortal as well because that was a pay to win ass shit, terrible time. Uh, <laughs> that was so pay to win. Like I was just, I was nauseated. I got pretty high. I think I got actually into uh, whatever the thing is past level 60 i can't remember the name of it but i got past level 60 on my character on immortal but that was that was about it <laughs> now that call go for bg3 yeah well i mean i think i think d4 is going to be i and this is also me like you know th whoever a developer says is like yeah i you know i i, I know their passions there and they're going to they want to try and fix things. I mean, the developers have definitely came out and said that they fixed things way too fast a little bit or made too many changes that they're going to scale back and hopefully make some improvements for your season two. Uh, but I think for Diablo, it would be for me just playing the game, going through the story with the, you know, with the classes. And then that's kind of it. The replayability with how the seasons go that's probably not going to be for me uh, much. And that's just me. I just don't see it. Mm. 
that's also me coming from like you know i've been playing dc well for the past 12 years and it's like i can't fucking stop i can't stop won't stop Okay, there's our ooh-lu-lu-lu-lu-lu-lu. <laughs> Does everyone remember when the when the internet broke because of this this start screen? <laughs> the internet's wild. <laughs> Hasn't been playing two level one hundred characters so far. Good bones. Just needs a lot of work. So you're saying Diablo 4 is going to be great in three years. Give it three years, get all the kinks out, all the whatever DLC they're going to put in there, and then bam, beautiful game. That's kind of how most people actually feel about uh, basically every game coming out in this time frame. All right, so I know the sound works. I was playing music as my test. And if this damn thing broke, I swear. Yeah, it broke. Yeah, hold on, supervisor. Hold on. And fucking A, I knew it. Thanks, just like any. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, I work in the Stardock, except uh, with more cave ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. There Very helpful. That's better. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to Can bounce from one about, end like, of the, the settled systems to the next. To and more minerals, more suits. money. And so the cycle like, repeats itself. Like day, guys. Don't, don't just don't. no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. Right, don't call me a dusty. Now we're at the end of the shift. <sighs> hey, what are these days, Hella? I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. <laughs> Look, I'm so nervous, I'm faking. Okay, let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty, keep your breathing steady and never take that helmet off down up here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, what to do? because God forbid we drill on a rock with a breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in free thought collective space? You will oh, there you go. Like this, How about that? Like I was trying to make sure I keep it into the green. Ugh. <sighs> So if I need to lower the, let me lower the desktop uh, audio. Just a tad. So, uh, keeping it low a little bit because Carlin's also working in the other room, so I'm trying to make sure to not usually project my voice as I always do. Be inconsiderate. Hey, time. Dusty, you're come on with me. Metal deposits are in that 
Oh, so we get the cutter. Okay. All right. Oh, I get to go working, guys. I gotta go work. My uh, apologies. I think we'll be done here soon. Press mouse one to fight. You know, in No Man's Sky, I will be able to mine all of this stuff. Even you. says this here right <laughs> you mean i can't mind everything fuck this game to be fair no man's guy didn't have this machine giant dark cave i don't want to do this come on we're getting close i think yeah everything is just i've gotten more cave than field so or star right now about this where is it hella through there i think okay you you're up something goes wrong in there we'll come get you oh uh, why would anything go wrong would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. I'm a heller. I don't want to go. I'm gonna go. I'll hold F to turn flashlight on. This flashlight is bullshit. <laughs> Well played. <laughs> well played. <laughs> ah, different colored rocks. I can. I don't think I get to keep these though. I get superpowers. Is that the cosmic cube? Superpowers. I get superpowers. Superpowers. Dusty. Snap out of it. Call me Dusty first off. My name's Voight. Come on, come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. 
Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Mm -mm. Any of this look familiar? Oh, I now get to create my character. I am fat. Here's our here's our character create folks. Oh god, no. Close enough. <laughs> what in the Well oh that's bad. <laughs> you know this actually probably could be my my best chance to do or create my own expanse character. I was like, I'm a built or loader. <laughs> what's this? What's this? I mean, it's one, one, one hell of a scale to use on this. You know, that's, yeah, this is interesting. Two hours of character creation. <laughs> oh, no, I'm definitely a dude. A walk style. Oh, that's no, that's not gonna work. Um, am I am I lighter than that? Oh, let me get the light in. No, no, I don't think. Oh, let me check my let me check my skin tone real quick. Just no, no, I'm two different shades. I don't know what shade I am. Let's just, let's just go with that. <laughs> okay, so now face. Yeah, I'm gonna get the Telltale Games Expanse uh, when I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna wait till everything drops. All right, so skin tone I'm already good. Wow, what the damn? I really could make a Belter Loda. I really could. Oh, oh, that's that's terrible. So we're fine. Okay. Hair. Damn, so, so dope. Uh, I guess there's not really a zoom out. I gotta rotate. Okay. Now let's just start at the very beginning. Straight up look like a baseball player. I do not have a receding hairline. I wonder if they actually have an afro. Could you put an afro in a... Oh, there it is. I guess that's kind of afro-like. Number 28? Okay, we'll remember number 28. Okay. This thing that was... Um, I have curls... I do not have these kinds of curls. I wish I had those curls, though. Those are good-looking curls. <laughs> uh, hair color, definitely black. Facial hair. Terrible scraggly beard. That's actually kind of close. Ho ho ho! Sorry. Yeah, scraggly enough. All right, well, let's look at facial hair color. I don't think we're gonna be able to get glare beard, but oh my god! Well, maybe we can. That's pink. Eighteen is pink. What is that? Was that? This is <laughs> autumn. Got some fire in there. Look at that. That's fire beard. That's a fire beard if I ever see one. It's a nice pink one. So I think 21 is going to be our victory. Yeah, 21 it is. 
Uh, my eyes are indeed fine. <laughs> Star Trek. Star Trek's Deep Space Nine. <laughs> Deep Space Nine's my favorite. <laughs> um, I am kind of... Oh, my God. I don't have the perfect teeth, but Jesus Christ. You know what? This is my video game. I'm going to do whatever. <laughs> do I get jewelry? What jewelry do I get? I don't see the jewelry. Oh, jewelry color. Sorry. There it is. No, no. Uh, I, I'm not a person who gets pierces. Come on. <laughs> I can't go no teeth. It's like just black teeth is all they had. Derma aesthetic? Oh my god, get out of here. Guys, guys. Okay, oh, you want a scar? Scars, guards. My scars on the lips. <laughs> Let's see. I'm Monkey D. Luffy. I'm going to be king of the space. <laughs> a little blemish up there above the eye. I, that's that's some lesions right there, Bubba. Ooh, that's worse lesions. Ooh. You know what? I'll just stick with the scars. <laughs> Watch Roger make SMB on kind of funny. SMB will be in the office at least until 3 a.m. Ooh. Here we go. Um, okay, I'm definitely done. All right, so background. So these are those character traits I think I've heard so much about. I even got an employee number. You guys can't... Oh, you guys can't see my employee number. Shit. <laughs> um, okay, so Beast Hunter. From Ashta to Aquila to the Terramorphs that plague the whole world of settled systems. Hostile alien life abounds. You've learned the skills to track them, find them, and take them down. All right. <laughs> you worked in the toughest. You worked in the, worked a line of the toughest clubs in the settled systems. Back then, you, you learned that most non-lethal confrontations can be solved with one or two ways: a strong right hook and a more strongly secured door. Uh, bounty hunter, wherever there are one individuals, there are those who profit from their capture. And your quarry uh, knows that in the vast in the space, they can run, but they can't hide. I am absolutely not a chef. I absolutely am a healer. I do love playing the healer. Uh, let leave it to human beings to fight over something, but you much rather take care of your friends. Oh, is this list like? Oh, well, there's oh god, there's so much. File not found. All there's no info. Uh, let's just go. Let's just go through the list. Let's go through the list. All right, so Cyber Runner. From Neon to New Atlantis, from ne the Negacorp stand as monuments to power, prestige, and profit. You've worked for both and against them, worked for, both for and against them on the inside and out, often sacrificing conscious for credits. Okay. Cyberneticist, robots, mere toys, <laughs> neuro amps, good for parlor tricks. The Colony War may have made implants and upgrades available to veterans, but you once saw a greater future, humans and machines as one. Hmm. Uh, got a nice little diplomat there. Got an explorer. Exploration is a lost art. Okay. Gangster. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> definitely not me. Uh, homesteader. Discover the cell systems. Many oxygen rich plants and moons met humans. If they know, if they had the know how, you did and utilized it to a greater effect. Okay. Industrialist. Uh, one of the to be a titan of industry, maybe a ship designer or a megacorp exec. Thankfully, that skill set never goes out of style in the cell systems. Uh, long hauler? That's, well, I definitely know my dad's a trucker. Got Pilgrim. Uh, you've been called many things during your travels and learned something that those others can never understand. The journey is the destination. Fuck. I use that all the time. It's not about the journey. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. I've said those words. 
Shit, I might be a pilgrim. Uh, professor, you've always enjoyed learning, but nothing can compare to the joy of teaching others as, uh, as humankind spread throughout the stars. There was never a lack of knowledge to obtain, and you gladly assisted. Ronin, masterless and unbound, you wanted to sell settlements or sell systems as a blade for hire. To some, you were a simple mercenary. To others, a hero. And to a select few, a nightmare they could never wake from. Sculptor, with your knowledge of anatomy and skill in steady hands, you could have had lucrative career as a surgeon. Instead, you followed your heart and created works of art to amaze and inspire. So how many of you guys out there have an art degree? How's the real world treating you? That was a joke. It was a joke. Uh, soldier, no stranger to warfare, and there's one thing armed conflicts rely on is trained warriors with guns and guts. You, you had both. Simple blade work, but you were great at it. <laughs> that was almost my minor. Uh, space scoundrel. Good, bad, become Han Solo. And Xenobiologist. The solar system is home to untold alien species, and while none of them have yet proven sentient, that never deterred you, so you sought out and studied them for whatever gifts they offered. And then their file not found. There's no information on the file about your past life, clerical oversight, deletion by some powerful unknown faction, or was there nothing of note? What's important here is now that you have a past that you're about to forge. I uh, wonder if the file and file not found allows you to like change shit. But that's okay, because uh, what I like to do is I like to roll the dice. Because fuck it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Oh well. Luckily for me. Oh, wrong phone. No since you alien. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> So let's see here. Let's uh welcome back streamer RNG. Let's do it. All right, so I am pulling out my RPG dice. All right, I got my dice right here. Uh we're going to use a D20. So we're not going to choose file not found. File not found is not going to be, it's going to be a D20. Okay. It's a, I don't know if you could probably see it right there. It's a, that's a D20. That's my D20 right there. What app is that from? It is, it's, that's all the app is called. It's just RPG dice roller. That's all it is. All right. So I'm going to hit roll and I get 10. Okay. You guys can see it. That is, that's a 10. Blurry or not, there it is. That's a 10. All right, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, mother. Fuck. What? How am I? What kind of RPG nonsense is this? That's 10, right? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay. <laughs> Not nonsense. So, <laughs> so I'm definitely going to be rolling up as a gangster with this red ass beard. <laughs> they call me glitter beard. Don't ask about it. Move along. <laughs> this is now GTA Starfield. <laughs> okay. So we got our backgrounds. Uh, let's go ahead and go to our traits. There's a, okay. So there's actually the same amount of traits or maybe a little bit. Okay. So our traits for alien DNA, you volunteered for controversial experiment that combines alien and human DNA. As a result, you start with receive increased health and oxygen, but healing and food items aren't as effective. Well, fuck that. <laughs> Dream home. You own a luxurious, customizable house on a peaceful planet. Unfortunately, it comes with a $125,000 credit mortgage with gold bank that has to be paid weekly. What? What? You, 
fuck? That sounds perfect for a gangster, doesn't it? Like, I can afford that with my blood money. <laughs> it's like, hey, man, we got Starfield has great customizable housing. Yeah, but it, it comes with a mortgage. I don't even have a mortgage. I have rent. I, I'll be damned if my King Game character has a dream home and I barely have that. Okay, let's go ahead and get that away. <laughs> All right, so empath, you're deeply connected to the feelings of others performing actions. Your companion's likes will result in a temporary increase in combat effectiveness, but performing actions they don't like will have the precise opposite effect. Shit. Extrovert, you are a people person. Exerting yourself, exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring with human companions, but more when venturing alone. Camping combined with introvert. Okay, so we are Free Star Collective Settler. You gain access to special Free Star Collective dialogue options and better rewards from some missions given by the faction. But crime bounty towards other factions is greatly increased. Can't be contained with any other faction allegiance trait. Okay, so hero worship, you earn the attention of an annoying, adoring fan who will show up randomly and jabber at you insensitively. On the plus sign, he'll join your crew, your ship's crew, and give you gifts. I mean, <laughs> who wouldn't? <laughs> Let's see. Imagine you're an introvert gangster. Um, hello, excuse me. Um, could you please hand over your money? <laughs> All right. So, introvert, you really need your alone time. Uh, exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring alone, but more when adventuring with other human companions. <laughs> it's like, hey, I'll come with you. No, 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 you won't. No, I'm, I'm going to do this on my own. I'm, I'm going to do this on my own. You, you just leave me alone. <laughs> uh, kid stuff. Your parents are alive. And, your parents are alive and well. And you can visit them at their home, but you automatically send 2% of your credits home to them every week. What? What? <laughs> Neon Street Rap, you grew up on the main streets of Neon. You gain access to special dialogue options and better rewards for missions on Neon. Crime bounty and other factions is greatly increased. What's the opposite of kid stuff? Batman? Oh, shit. Does Dorian fan jabbering at you include calling you randomly on a weekday simply to ask you about DC? Well, it kind of does. It kind of does, Raph. <laughs> Nothing more gangster is sending money to your loving parents. God. Raised in Enlightened, you, you grew up as a member of the Enlightened. You gain access to a special chest, chest full of items in the house of the Enlightened in New Atlantis, but you lose access to the sanctum universum chest and then this is the opposite you get chest full of items in the sanctum universe but not in house of enlightened serpent's embrace you go up worshiping the great serpent okay grab jumping provides a temporary boost in health and oxygen but health and oxygen are lowered if you don't continue jumping regularly like an addiction what What kind of gangster is just, hey, I'm going to need your money. Why am I jumping? Don't ask about my religion. That's rude. I take this is what should have been co-op, co not Fallout 76. <laughs> so you can always get the dream house, use kid stuff, then rob your parents to pay your rent. <laughs> the true futuristic gangster way. Okay, uh, you got space. Your body has become acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased when in space, but decreased when you're on the surface. Can't be combined with terra firma, so that's going to be the opposite of it. Uh, Taskmaster, occasionally, if you have crew trained in a certain ship system, that system will automatically repair itself to full health whenever it's damaged below 50%. However, all crew costs twice 
as much to hire. Ooh. Ooh, that's a give and take right there, ain't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? All right, so terraformer, you never acclimated to space. Health and oxygen is increased while on the surface, decrease in space. Uh, United colonies native, get options to dialogue and rewards from this faction. Uh, and then finally, wanted. Son of a bitch. Someone put a price on your head and word has spread. Occasionally, armed mercenaries will show up and try to kill you, but being cornered gives you an edge. When your health is low, you do extra damage. Come on, wanted. Goddamn. <laughs> okay, so as usual, I'm a dice roller. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay. So I'm just gonna roll a D twenty. <laughs> so if I hit, even if I hit eighteen, nineteen, and twenty, I'm just gonna roll over to the next spots. Okay. So we got our D twenty. I'm gonna go ahead and clear it. All right. Was it 16? Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 wanted 17. Wanted a 17. Okay, so we have our D20. Um, this also may change a little bit because, you know, once we, if we get one that has to like, uh, like one of the reputations or the religions, we won't be able to select the other one. So it, it's definitely going to vary. So, okay, so first roll. Is a 12. I'm being very honest with everyone. All right. I'm an honest, I'm an honest guy. That is 12. Okay. So number 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Mother, no. Grav jumping provides a temporary boost to health and oxygen. But health and oxygen are lowered if you don't continue jumping regularly like an addiction. I was, you know what? I deserve it. Yeah, I was making fun of it. I was, I was making fun of it. All right. So what we'll do is we will pick all three and I will only mulligan one okay that's what we're gonna do we're gonna make it even we're going to get all three traits and then we will select one to mulligan yep we can veto one that's all we're gonna do all right so i'm gonna choose serpents <laughs> embrace so obviously i can't choose these two yep okay all right so i'm hitting roll again all right so i got seven all right i got a seven one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> At least I'll be jumping alone. At least I'll be fucking jumping alone. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> I swear to God, if I fucking dream home. We're rolling. Oh, shit. Okay. So we, so we rolled a three. Okay, we rolled three. So that's empath. From an actions your companions likes will result in temporary increase in combat effectiveness. Okay, okay. <laughs> so empath, I'm okay with. Okay, let's go ahead and get that out of the way. I'm okay with empath. Empath as a gangster. <laughs> Well, the empath is for the is for my companions, not for anyone else. Okay, so we're absolutely getting rid of Serpent's Embrace. Absolutely. So that's the one I'm mulliganing, okay? That's the one. So I'm going to roll. This is the final roll for the final trait. All right, everybody? Okay, okay. Rolling. I rolled a 15. <laughs> Shut up, dude. dude. The job, D. I don't want a fucking dream home. I don't want a mortgage as I just start my space adventure. 
That's some, that's some bullshit Adoline. All right. So I'm an empath introvert that loves the surface and hates space. I'm kind of a little upset that I, ha I, I don't have any faction stuff whatsoever, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. So I think we have finished. So let's go ahead and hit R. That's, that's who we are, folks. We are the empath introvert gangster who only likes worlds. Name is going to be Drexlite. <laughs> That's me. I'm a gangster. <laughs> this is legit the most derpy. <laughs> I gotta fucking. I'm gonna take a picture. <laughs> That's me, guys. Oh, well, let me turn my character around. Uh, I need a profile. Hold on, I need a profile shot. This is this is it right here. That's that's good. Okay. Gotta get that profile. <laughs> and that's the Facebook. <laughs> this could easily have been a character, Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> let me go, let me go ahead and, and change my change my thing real quick. Hey Gray, what's up, bro? Tracks the stampede. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> gangster <laughs> empath introvert <laughs> terra firma. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, we are. I'm he, him. Okay. Um, confirm. I'm looking okay at my, I'm again, it's cool that you have the pronouns in there. I, I love Your my pronouns. lot of outfits would see a criminal record like yours and turn you away. They certainly took a chance with you. Well, you got the sound.